If you haven't realized it already, coronavirus is all over the news, the internet, social media, YouTube, and so on. It is literally every single place that I look, and I'm tired of seeing it all over the place. So today, I'm going to show you how you can use a little bit of JavaScript and a little bit of CSS to completely remove coronavirus from your life. Let's get started now. But before we get started, I want to talk about how you can get an entire year of hosting for free with a powerful server, and that's by using Atlantic.net, which is the video sponsor for today's video. And if you use the code Kyle when you check out, on top of that entire year of free hosting, you get an additional $50 of credit that you can use to customize your hosting however you want. And the best part is, is this isn't some small, weak server. This is a powerful server. This is actually a server that's about two times as powerful as other platforms starting level server, and they don't even give those out for free. You get this for free for an entire year. That is amazing. This server also has incredible redundancy and incredible security, so you don't have to worry about problems with your data going missing. It's always going to be there for you. So make sure you use the code Kyle when you sign up and use the link in the description down below. Welcome back to Web Dev Simplified. My name is Kyle and my job is to simplify the web for you so you can start building your dream project sooner. So if that sounds interesting, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one. Now to get started, I'm going to be using a Chrome extension, which is going to allow me to modify the web pages that I want to and be able to remove things such as coronavirus from those web pages. And to get started with a custom Chrome extension, the first thing you need to do is create a file called manifest.json inside of a folder. And then inside of this manifest.json file, you need to put in here a manifest version. And we're going to be using version 2. This is the most up-to-date version of creating extensions in Chrome, so make sure you use version 2. You also need to have a name. So I'm just going to call this here coronavirus immunity. Whoops immunity. And then what you need to do is supply a version for your extension. We're just going to use semantic versioning. So we're going to be in version 0.1.0, just like that. And if you're confused with semantic versioning, I have a blog post on it. I'll link in the description for you. And now that that's done, we can go to the page Chrome colon backslash backslash extensions. And what this is going to do is if we toggle developer mode up here in the corner, is this going to allow us to load an unpacked extension? So if we click on this and navigate to the folder we've created this project, which in my case is this coronavirus folder, and click select, you're gonna see our extension has popped up right here inside of our page. And now we have our extension loaded into Chrome so we can start building out our extension. And in order to do that, we need to create some files. So we'll create a script.js file, and we're also gonna create a styles .css file. And in this script file, just to make sure that things are working, we're just going to alert high. And in order to make this script file actually run on your page, you need to go into your manifest. And there's a property inside the manifest called, whoops, sorry about that, content scripts. And in here, what you're going to do is it's going to be an array of all of your scripts, and it's going to take an object. The first property of that object is matches. This is going to be the URL that you're going to match an array of them. And in our case, we can use the special value of all URLs typed out just like this. And this is going to match every single web page that we go to. The next thing we do is we need to supply the JavaScript we're using on our page. And in our case, this is just script.js. And this again needs to be inside of an array. And then for our style sheets, we just need CSS, put this inside of an array, and we're going to say styles. CSS. And let's add a little bit of a style in here. We'll just make our body a background color of red. And we'll just make sure we put that as important so it overrides everything. And now if we click this refresh button to refresh our extension and go over to the page we have open, any web page will work, and click refresh, you can see our background color is red. And now it's said hi as that alert box. So we know that our JavaScript and our CSS are being loaded. Let's remove that ugly red color for now as well as to remove this alert and actually work on doing what we want to for this video. And what I want to do is be able to remove coronavirus everywhere that it's on a web page. So we need to get every single element in the web page that has the text of coronavirus. 
So to do that, I'm going to use a recursive function, which is going to loop through every element on the page and all of their children and all of their children until we find every element with coronavirus. So let's just create that function. We're just going to call this replace text. And this is going to be what we're using to replace that coronavirus text. And it's going to take in an element. And this is the current element that we're on. And the first time that we call this function, we want to call replace text and we want to call it with the document, oops, document.body. So what we're doing is essentially starting at the body and we want to loop through every single element. So we can say if element dot has child nodes, this is essentially saying, are there any children inside of this element? If there are, we want to go through all of those child nodes and we want to just for each of them call the function replace text. So what this essentially is doing is for every single child inside of our element, we want to call this replace text function because a text element doesn't have children. So we want to keep looping until we get to an element that does not have any children and is a text element. So we can put an else if in here. So else if there is no children, so we'll be inside this if there are no children, we then want to check if we're in a text node. And we can use this property on the element called node type. We want to check to see if that is equal to text dot text underscore node, just like that. This is a constant variable, which is set to three, but we're just going to use this text node variable. So we can check to see if our node type is a text node. If that's the case, then we know that we found an element that is a text element. And now we can actually modify the text inside of that element. So the easiest thing that we can get started with is just getting the text of that element, which is going to be in our case, text content. And that's because this is a text node and not a text element. So instead of using inner text, we want to use text content. They're essentially the same thing though. And what we want to do is set that to our text content, but we want to actually run this replace function. And inside of this replace function, what we're going to do is use a regular expression, which we use these two slashes like this, followed by our flags, which in our case are going to be GI for global and ignore case. And we want to find anywhere that has the coronavirus text. This will get uppercase, lowercase, it doesn't matter. And if you're not familiar with regex, I have an entire video on it linked in the cards and the description that you can check out. Now all we need to do is put the text that we want to replace this with. And in our case, I'm just going to replace this with these black looking boxes. As you can see here, I've just copied these elements over. It's just this blackish looking box. And we're going to replace our text with that. You can use anything that you want but I think this looks pretty okay for our use case. Now, if we save that, come over here, reload our extension and reload our page, you'll see that everywhere that the word coronavirus is, is replaced by these black looking boxes. And I think that looks pretty good so far, but we can actually improve upon this. What if what we wanna do is to replace the entire paragraph or entire section of text that has this coronavirus in it? What we can do for that instead is put another if inside of here. And we wanna say if our element dot text content dot match. And this again takes a regular expression. So we'll use the exact same regular expression. So this says if this coronavirus text is inside of this text content of our element, then what we want to do is take our element and we want to get the parent element. And we're going to get the style of that. And then let's just set the color here to be equal to black. And we're going to do the exact same thing, but we're going to set the background color also to black. And what this is going to do is it's actually going to black out all of the text that contains this coronavirus word. So all of this is going to turn black. And now if we save this, refresh our extension, come over here, you see that now all of that text that contained coronavirus has turned black and we can't actually see it, but it really doesn't look that great in my opinion, since you can still highlight the text and it's still just not that useful. So what we want to do instead is just black out the word coronavirus instead of every single word that's inside of it. So to do that is a little bit trickier, but still quite doable. So we still want this if to make sure that we have the text of coronavirus. And then what we want to do is we actually want to replace this element. So we can just say replace with, and this allows us to pass a new element into it, which we're going to replace this element with. So let's just create an element. We'll say new element is going to be equal to document dot create element. And we just want to create a single span and then inside of that span, what we want to do is set the inner HTML and we're going to make it based off of this coronavirus word. So we can say element.textContent.html. 
dot replace, and we're going to use that same regular expression to replace coronavirus. But we actually want to put this in parentheses. So we capture this coronavirus variable, and that way we can use it inside of our replace, because what we're going to do is actually replace this inside of a span. So we're going to create a span. We're going to give it here some style. We'll say that the background, whoops, let's make sure that these are single quotes around here. And then inside of our style, we can do background color to black, and then we can set our color to black. And then inside of our span, what we want to do is we want to put the dollar sign and then one. And this is going to capture everything inside these parentheses. So it'll have coronavirus inside of here. And then we just say we want to replace this with our new element. So now let's refresh our extension, refresh our page over here, and you'll see that only the word coronavirus has been replaced by this black text. But you'll notice this didn't quite work as expected, and that's because if we look back at our code, I'm missing a quote on this side, so I need to put in that double quote. And now if we refresh our extension and refresh this page, you'll see every single instance of coronavirus is replaced by this blacked out text, kind of like you would see in maybe some top secret government files, for example. Now this is great for blocking out all the coronavirus everywhere while not removing any of the extra documents text inside of our page here, but we can even go a step further if we want to just completely remove out the entire coronavirus paragraph, everything, just completely remove it, pretend it didn't even exist, even beyond just blacking it out. And to do that is fairly straightforward. So let's just comment out this code that we have for now, but we do want to keep in this if statement because we still want to only do this if we match that text of coronavirus. And what we want to do is just take the element, we want to get the parent element, and we want to remove it. Now if we save this, refresh our extension, and reload our page over here, you'll see that everywhere that coronavirus was is just removed. All of the text around it, absolutely everything to do with coronavirus is just removed from the page, which just, it's gone now, completely gone. We don't ever have to worry about it. You can't highlight it. You can't see it. It is great. But I know there's some people out there that maybe really enjoy coronavirus. They just love coronavirus. So I'm going to show those people how to just make it pop out and show up everywhere that they want. So let's get rid of this remove statement and bring this code back in that we used to create this span. And instead, what we want to do is we want to add a class to this span, which is going to say rainbow. And now if we save this, refresh our extension over here, come back to our page, you should see nothing looks out of place. But if we actually inspect this element and I drag this over, you can see the span has a class of rainbow. So now inside of our styles.css, we can select that rainbow class and we can add an animation, which is going to be called rainbow. And we're just going to make it last 600 milliseconds. And then we're going to say that the animation iteration count is going to be infinite. We want this to last forever. Now in our keyframes, we want to make a keyframe for that animation called rainbow. And then inside of here, we want to make different keyframes for the color of our text. So for example, our first color is going to be red. And then at 15%, we're going to have another color. We're just going to use orange here. And then the same exact thing, but at 30%, we're going to do another color. This time we're going to do yellow. Then at 45%, we're going to do another color. This time we're going to do green. 60% is going to be blue. Almost at the end here, 75% is going to be a color, which is indigo. And then lastly, scroll this down a little bit, at 90%, we're going to have our color of purple. Now, if we refresh our extension right over here and refresh our page, you can see that our coronavirus text is going to be spamming out that rainbow color forever and ever so that people that love coronavirus can just look at it and see it in all of its glory everywhere that they go. And that is how I removed coronavirus from my life. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out my other videos linked over here and subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this one. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day.